Hello and welcome back to the Warp and Realms. Today is a showcase video of the Xenshin War Mammoth and the army that goes along with them, known as the Bleakeners. Leading with the Mammoth, uh, this thing took maybe six months to a year to actually finish from initial build to being completely painted, and almost made me lose my hobby mojo for quite some time, so thank you Mammoth. I wanted it to be a creepy monstrosity that had a resemblance to once being natural, but not much of that left anymore. Uh, I think it worked out pretty well. <laughs> it's uh, a terrifying beast to be sure. There is a lot going on, but one of my favorite small details is definitely the beak at the end of the trunk. I really liked how everything up top turned out. Uh, I think if I was to go back, I would add a few more crew members. They're all diverse, but they, they feel a little sparse when you look at it top down. Um, but yeah, I love how the tomb barge, if that's what it's called, and the, the disc zinch look. On to the Sorcerer Lord Incandaris, I believe I named him. Uh, he was the first kit bash I did for this project. Uh, definitely heavily inspired by Thousand Suns and Stormcast bits actually in there too. Here's the Ogroid Thaumaturge, which I also built on the channel. Um, it was a quick paint job. I think if I would go back, I would do the skin tone a little bit darker to make the green fiery tattoos contrast a little bit more. Um, but it was quick and I like it. Here's another Lord of the Rings conversion, this time the Great Beast of Gorgoroth, which is awesome because it even has a beak. Uh, otherwise, basically just slapped the War Shrine on top and did a couple little bits here and there. This one actually took a bit of a spill and is broken, so it doesn't fit together as well as it used to. As you can tell by this Zangor Shaman, if you aren't riding something, you probably have more than two legs. This army definitely has a theme of mounted and magical. These are a couple of uh, my favorite troop options. We got some Marauder Champions and Chaos Knight Champions. Uh, used with some Zinch Arcanite bits and Stormcast bits in there too, once again. This is the Demon Prince, Fear Crystal or Kestrelax. I don't think I ever settled on a name. Uh, his MO is ragged and emaciated. I really like how he turned out. And last but not least is the Bleakener himself, the Chaos Lord. He's not the biggest, not the craziest, but it was a pretty intricate build and I'm really happy with how it came together. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time.